Hi everyone, my name is Nova and today I'm going to talk to you guys about using the 3D object editing tool in SDK. With the 3D object editing tool, you can make changes to the location of your ground objects, whether that be your targets, facilities, or um, places. You can move moving objects like your ships, ground vehicles, and aircrafts. For satellites, you do things like design your orbit with the Orbit Tuner or Orbit Wizard, or you'd actually even design a mission with Astrogator. But in what we're going to do today, we're just going to be designing a quick flight with the 3D object editing tool. I'm going to begin by inserting in a aircraft object, a very, very simple one. I'm not going to open up its properties because I'm going to use the 3D object editing tool and just design my flight with it. So if you just take a look at the scenario right now, there's no like aircraft object there, but you certainly see it in the object browser. I'm going to zoom down to the Grand Canyon, though, and scroll out just so that I see what this area looks like. What's great about using the 3D object editing tool, and you'll see this in just a little bit, is I'll be able to move around in my graphics. So if I do want to go closer to a certain part of the Grand Canyon, I certainly can without changing or defining any point. To start using this tool, we're going to go up to the top of our SDK window and use this dropdown and select our aircraft object as the object we then want to edit. And then to get started, you're going to enable this uh, object edit start accept. That'll start essentially like an edit session where you get to go in and make changes. And then to save your changes, you will accept them. So when I enable this option, you'll see that this little button has a little green checkbox next to it. But then the other one has a little red X. The little red X is your object edit cancel. So if you don't like your changes, hit that red X and it won't save anything. To get started, I am going to use a combination of my mouse and my keyboard. And I'm going to use primarily the shift button. And I guess like another tip is I actually do recommend looking at this from overhead so that you can like figure out exactly where your point is going to be. But to start designing your route, all you're going to do is take a finger and click the shift button, and then left click with your mouse. And then if I just tilt this over, you can see I have a little floating point with a line exactly where I wanted it to be. So now I'm going to just click out a couple more points, and I'm just going to fly around over the Grand Canyon. And then every single point I click out is going to be a new waypoint for my flight and for my route. And you'll notice that I do get to shift and move around my display. But once again, it's just like a personal tip. If you're comfortable with this tool, go ahead and view it from any and all angles that you want. And I'm just going to click out a couple more points. So once you've designed your route, so I have a very fun and crazy route that I have now created. If you want to save your changes, all you'll do is you will hit that Start and Accept button, and that will save your changes and show you your new route. If you want to go back and make changes to the same route using the 3D Object Editing tool, you can use the Object Edit Start Accept button to reinitialize that session, and then you can go in and make changes to any one of your points. So say I wanted to move this point, I would take my finger off the Shift button, and just click on that point and then maybe drag it to a new location. So I'm going to drag this all the way out, but my finger's not on the shift key. If I'm unhappy with my changes, so say I did all of that, but I'm not happy with it, I'm going to hit the object edit cancel button, which will cancel any changes I just made and still give me my same route. So I'm looking at my route right now, and I'm actually flying pretty high up over the Grand Canyon. So if I'm actually looking at any one of my points, and you know maybe I'll just start off with like the very first point over here. So my finger's off the shift button, and I'm going to click on that yellow dot, and then just notice, and I'm going to actually zoom back to my, I'm going to now zoom to my aircraft, hopefully show this better. But there are three vectors. So two essentially going horizontal and then a vertical one that's blue. 
The ones that I'm currently editing and moving around are the yellow vectors. So that lets me change the position, the latitude and longitude. If I want to change the altitude, I'm going to actually click on the blue arrow. So now notice that those other two vectors are red and green. But now, and I actually want you to take a quick note as to what the altitude says. But now when I click this yellow dot, and once again, hand off the keyboard, I can move this point up and down. And I'm going to like scroll out. I'm going to just maybe drag my point all the way down low. And you can even see that altitude value change. So my altitude is much lower. And then if I'm happy with those changes, I'll save and accept them. Other things you can do, if you have a couple points that maybe you brought in that you're not necessarily happy with, you can always delete them by this time putting your finger on the shift button and just clicking out a point you don't necessarily want. That'll remove it from your route and it won't be used in the calculations. So now I have my flight and I've designed it using the 3D object editing tool. Other things you might notice is we have the turn radius defined with just some default parameters. So if you did want to change like the turn radius of your flight, so when it banks and turns, how it's going to be behaving, you can actually do that in the aircraft's properties. And notice that my turn radius here is 11 kilometers, which is going to be pretty big for the area that it's flying over. So I'm actually going to quickly do a set all and maybe set my altitude and turn radius. So maybe set my altitude to like six kilometers, turn radius to maybe like five kilometers. Click OK, and then just see how that updates my route. So anytime you see those kinks, it's just banking, and then the turn radius is too high, or in my situation, maybe I put too many points in that one spot. But now that I have my aircraft in here, what I can always do is I can zoom to it. And this would be a great flight, in my opinion. Uh, but I'm going to actually just play and animate my scenario and see what this flight over the Grand Canyon is going to look like. Uh, I'm going to also reduce my step size just a smidgen so that I can uh, watch and animate my scenario and my aircraft as it flies over the Grand Canyon. And I can always change my view around by just using my left mouse button to change the screen and just view it from a different angle. I hope you enjoyed this topic and learned about using the 3D object editing tool in SDK.